Good evening, YouTube. You guys are now watching another segment of the Cali Effect. Today, we're going to be going through review. Why? Because the Cali Effect sucks at building scraps in the deck. I just think that's just a good trash. I mean, I'm serious, guys. But I will come back and play scraps sometime soon. Um, obviously, after I fix my uh, child abuse problems with scraps, then we will come back to it. And we're going to be starting off with playing three decks for the rest of the week with Mecha Phantom Beast. One of the best decks, or one of my most favorite under tier 2 decks. Um, I'm here with Amber. What up? You already know how it go. Mecha Phantom Beast. Mecha Phantom Beast. What? Messiah. That's how dangerous they are, man. They're from the west side. You don't even know what side that is, do you, YouTube? They don't. Yeah, they don't even know what side that is. They're not, no, they don't know what side that is. Once they find out what side that is, they'll understand the severity of Mechatron Beast. I hope he doesn't blind Typhoon, because they normally hit the middle card. Oh, nope, nope, nope. He hit the last card. Nope. No. <laughs> bad player. Bad player. <laughs> I hope you got two more typhoons, nigga. <laughs> Alright, he's gonna activate Dragon Shrine. I really don't care what he's playing. That blind typhoon just let me know you're a bad player. So it's nothing you can do to let me think anything different. He's summoning your guard. When there's normal summon, you can target a normal monster with a thousand attack or less, plus summoning in the face of defense position. Let's return. You can tribute one dragon and target one face up. Well, he's going to summon Star Eater. Uh, I'd rather affect me. No, Dragard. No. That was just extremely wild. Swing of memories. Alright, he was going to go through with them anyways. I can't negate the summon of Star Eater. It's going to be a struggle. Oh, Leo. Bye, Leo. <laughs> Can't deal with you, Leo. You're too strong. I don't know why I was thinking Star Eater. But, yeah, that was, that's Leo. Perfectly deal with Leo. Black Horn of Heaven says no to Leo. Somebody has exhausted a lot of resources. He has the hair to get to. Nope, nothing. West Side. So now we'll flip some of Colt Wing. And we'll attack for 16. I wish I drew some Mecha Phantom Beast to partner with Colt Wing. Because Colt Wing isn't a bad standalone. He's just the worst standalone. He plays Gores. Why do these players play Gores? Out of all his cards, he was like, Well, if I lose all my hand, I play Gores. Bad players. Now I gotta activate Colt Wing's effect. Get rid of the gores. Then I gotta set the lance. And the dandelion, because I didn't summon it to attack. Go ahead. And I take out Typhoons and add it Lance, because, well, it's Lance. Um, and if all else fails, it's a battle modifier. Um, so if I don't need to get rid of back row in this said situation, I can always modify the battle and win, so it's always good. Level eater reduced to level, that's fine. I mean, there's nothing that can be right there. And he's probably going to tribute them both, and there might not be anything I can do after that. Or he's just summoning a level eater because that would just be a big one. Damn it, Colt Wing. He's thinking about battling. If he doesn't, I'll think about battling. All I need is some tokens. And <laughs> it's not going to go well on him. Oh, and Amber went back to sleep. Oh, that's cool. He just wanted to say the Mac and of these things, so. That's really cute. Everybody loves Mac and of these. Even Eric. He said that he's, he, he's jealous of how the deck plays. And even when the deck can't get a sufficient amount of monsters or tokens, he hates how the deck always finds a way to come through and make people quit out, just like now. He says the deck is superior to any deck he will ever play. I'm like, Eric, you ain't gotta say all that. He's like, no, no, I'm serious, man. 
what you did right there with the Becca Phantom Beast deck, it's amazing, man. It, I, I just, man, I just want to give you all my money and buy great people. That's exactly what you said. And he went back on his word. He has not bought great people yet. So whoever wants to buy, just let me know. Let's get into game two. Uh, oops. So, hey, I have a question. If your co-host falls asleep on you, are you boring? I, I think I'm really boring since, like, she just only popped up to say, Mecha, fam, beast. And then she just went right to sleep on you. So, uh, I think I'm boring. I, I need you guys' help. Uh, or maybe she's gay. You know, gayness does is the answer to being asleep. Okay, I don't think she's gay because she just hit the shit up. But she's definitely asleep. You know what? Let's just go ahead and activate Fires of Doom today. I want to see if that works first. See if he thinks I'm a bad player right off the bat. I drew a very awkward hand as opposed to my last hand, which I drew no cards. Fire Fist Dragon. I would prefer for him to attack my token, but uh, if you don't want to, you can always attack the monster. Good job. Good job. Mega Raptor and flip something, get two more tokens. No. I can just flip something. See what he has. Response? Mecha. Phantom. Uh, I want to go into Colt Wing. Response? West Side? No. We'll go to Raptor. I'll activate Raptor's effect. We'll tribute the Fires of Doomsday token. Why? Because we can. And that will give us, where are you? Hillary. Next, since I'm so fearless, I can't battle with them. I mean, as long as it isn't a defense. And even if it is, uh, maybe I'm gonna say at this point. I'm thinking it's a 10 2 phase now. It's a Book of Moon. Struggles. He must really want to play Protect the Dragon. Well, I really want to play Hurt the Dragon. I'll set the Deep Prison and the Fires of Doomsday. Back to you. No Blind Typhoons. No Blind Typhoons. Go ahead, Blind Typhoons. I mean, you're going to do it anyways. Bear. All right. Somebody has a hard on for destroying my Mega Phantom Beast. With no tokens? What? No, I can't allow you to do that, sir. I can't allow you to plus like tokens like that. Mm -mm. Not today. Use Forbidden Lance. Wiretap? Wiretap it, I'll probably. Good. Good. So he only cares about damage. All right. Is one of these tribute or special something? I think it's one of these tribute. Use torrental. Use torrental. I have to tribute the token. Uh, this one's pretty useless since I don't have any mecha phantom beast in the Ooh. I don't have any mecha phantom beast in the graveyard yet. So let's make Gandhari. Pro problem? Problem, bro? Problem? I don't know why someone would attack. That's fine. Then we'll activate your effect. Any response? Sweet. 
Neurofact. Bring them level 13s in this. I don't know why some of them. Tribute two, banish one. Yay! You to defense, get in defense. And back to you, Jim. I don't want him fire fist parrying over one of my monsters and gaining some type of advantage. That's annoying. Dark hole. That's fine. <laughs> I love this man's antics. Tanky. Tanky into. He's gonna hate my face down card, I just know it. I hate when people hate my face down cards. Gorilla, oh man, this man's getting for blood. This man is in for blood. I tell you what, I won't let you destroy my face down card. But, 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 I think we can have something beneficial for both of us. I will place two tokens on Unless you have a response. And he doesn't have a response. So how does that sound? I felt that the two tokens were better than, you know, destroying my back row. And you're still going to attack. Do you have some effect in the issue card? No? Yes? Maybe? Breakthrough skills? Fiendish chain? No? Should I attack the token, man? You just felt the token. Sweet sticks. What is this one? It's banished to the special summon. Which one is when I use one? Oh, you. Uh, so you and you. Gorilla. Response. You're going to bring out a token. Attack. I really don't want to risk him going to attack because it's just like, oh. I know you have Mirror Force. I know you have Mirror Force. I know you have Mirror Force. And then we'll attack with Hillary. Main phase two. We'll go into Mecha, Phantom. Beast, the boss, Draco Sun. Draco Sacrifice. I will detach you, because I'm pretty sure I have the other one here. I mean, not that it matters. I have an enhanced. As you guys can see, Hamstrat is probably the most useless Mecha Phantom Beast after you flip it face up. So, I have a proposition for you, Hamstrat. You are going to be food. Draco Sapphire. And we'll get a token in exchange. Come on now, that's amazing. I could activate it and then make them 10 and then swing for two freaking thousand. But that's just not my style. Now listen, I believe in saving my resources. Duality, it's duality to mirror force to dragon. Hmm. What the hell is that gonna help? Oh, you yeah, have to set that dragon in defense, boy. Attack the Draco side. Oh. I think he figured that he should be destroying the tokens. Uh, let's just summon this guy while he's, you know, while you gave us a tin token or a rune. We'll destroy dragon. And yes, we'll replace the token. I'm gonna just switch you to defense. Why? I don't know. Yeah, you're, you're useless in attack. And then we're gonna attack for 16. Response. Whatever you have, Mirror Force. Yeah, I figured. And then we are going to go for the... How? Well, this little hefty buddy, of course. 
super dreadnought gust style kind of gun. I've only seen this, this card work in OTK decks, but hey, it works for us too. Why? Because we're Mecha, Phantom, Beast, West Side, West Side, West Side. Anyways, you guys have seen two excellent games into this video describing how Mecha, Phantom, Beast are the prime deck and the prime candidate to be a contender sometime in the future, uh, maybe a distant future too. But it's still an extremely fun deck to play. It has so many instances where if you bring out Draco Sack, it's a win. It's just, that's just flat out. I brought out Draco Sack, I knew I had this game. There was nothing that was going to stop me um, once I summoned Draco Sack to the field. There's not a single thing. Um, the deck is amazing to play. It's extremely fun. But thank you guys for watching another segment of the Cali Effect. Please like, comment, subscribe. Tune in for tomorrow when I play another deck. Or probably even later on today. But most of all, enjoy.